politics, it's a brutal game. It can inspire, it can fulfil dreams, but it can also be a graveyard for the vanquished. And so it goes with Adam Somnurek, Marlene Kuras and Robin Scott, all ministerial victims of the branch stacking scandal in Victoria. Now they broke the code and Daniel Andrews acted swiftly. So too federal opposition leader Anthony Albanese, who now faces the prospect of this scandal dogging him well into 2021. Now, one of the constant failings of long-serving politicians I've found on both sides of politics is the tendency to get somewhat arrogant and somewhat complacent at times. That's why changing it up is always a good ploy by voters. That's why Labor should not be allowed to govern again next time in Victoria. Now, the same thing applies in Queensland. The Palaszczuk government has been beset by integrity scandals resulting in the demise of its Deputy Premier, former Deputy Premier Jackie Trad, because of the hubris and the way in which proper decision making was affected. Now, voters should always be wary of that particular syndrome, and it's an ever growing trend in Australian politics. Now, interestingly, in Queensland, it's been the state opposition that has created the headlines in recent days, and opposition leader Deb Frecklington was forced to confront backroom party bullies, her words, not mine after selective leaks on polling that hurt her badly. Now, the reality for the state opposition in Queensland that it now has to put a line in the sand on its leadership five months out from the elections, its task now is to get on with the job of laying out an alternative plan for Queensland, other than the mediocre effort displayed by Labor. Now, that includes tackling debt, fixing child safety and repairing the tourism industry, which is uh, on its knees because of the way in which the Palaszczuk government has treated the COVID pandemic. And I've got to say, I was buoyed by the way in which uh, opposition leader Deb Frecklington really took the bit between her teeth in the past few days and laid it out to voters in Queensland that she was a strong woman and that she was prepared to make tough calls taking on the organisational wing of the LNP. Now, the Victorian and Queensland Labor governments, in my opinion, my humble opinion, have run their course. Their integrity scandals show they need to be turfed out at the earliest possibility.